Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. This is the full moon reading in July. It's a moon in Aquarius. It lands on July 23rd or 24th, depending on where you're living. Now, I want to remind everyone that any of the readings that I do for this full moon, they are general readings still. For some of you, it is going to completely resonate for you. For others, it won't. So if it doesn't completely resonate for you, take what does resonate. That's yours. Leave the rest behind. I want to thank everyone for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up on your way out as it truly does help my channel as well as the zodiacs that need to get the messages around this full moon. So to start off with this full moon in Aquarius, the key energies of this moon are going to be around karma, maturing, lessons, and commitment. This is going to be a bit of a mixed bag of a full moon because it's kind of stuck between eruptive Pluto and hard-bitten Saturn. In ancient astrology, this wouldn't have been regarded as a very good thing. However, in modern astrology, this is seen as a chance to have a clear out, a life clear out, okay? And then you can put some new structures in place. The nearest alignment after the full moon is going to be between the planet Mercury and planet Neptune. In other words, if you're on a spiritual path, you've got a beautiful chance to really go higher with your spiritual practice at the time of the full moon and in the coming month, okay? So meditation, chanting, yoga, and journaling, these are all going to work in your favor. This full moon is also going to be good for those of you that need to do some letting go as well as forgiving. It's in Aquarius, so at some level you can detach yourself from the past and move on. And very often, as with most things, it's all about your intention. So when you do your full moon work, try to feel as detached as you can from whomever it is that you're, you're wanting to forgive at this point in time. It's going to make things a lot easier for you. Now, there's also a Mercury-Pluto alignment building that'll make space for powerful conversations. So if that's something that you need to make happen, this will come in handy for you. And I want you to note that this is the first of two Aquarius full moons that are happening in a row. So that is going to give you more opportunity in the next month to let go and forgive. So for those of us that have a lot to let go of and a lot to forgive, we've got two opportunities to do so. Now, Mercury is the most active planet this week, so it's a great time to get in touch with Mercury energies. And the message from Mercury is to improve your communication within your limited abilities of speech, writing, and sign language. We need to express ourselves at this point in time. Okay? Okay. So, first of all, what I want to do is point out the cards from the Moonology deck that are pertinent for this full moon. Obviously, we've got the full moon card, and that is surrender to the divine. Always with the full moon, it's about letting go. It's about surrendering, just going with the flow, surrendering to the process and allowing whatever needs to move forward. Just go with it. The other one is the full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. Stand in your true, authentic self and your powers. Shine that light. Shine your light on the rest of the world. Be you. I want to point out that this full moon is in your seventh house. So what that suggests is that it's time for you to step aside a little and maybe invest some emotional energy in other people, your significant other, a business partner, even an adversary. But at the very least, you need to find a balance. It seems that maybe someone else needs your attention right now. And the full moon can also bring closures. So if you're in a friendship or a relationship that's ending, you already know it's ending. Spirit is not telling you anything you don't already know here. You can proceed in the knowledge that you are finishing things up at the right time. Celestially speaking. 
because it's a full moon. Full moons are all about endings, right? So that you can have that new beginning. So that's where you're at with this full moon. Now let's get into your reading. Okay, we're going to start with the moon, sorry, queen of the moon oracle deck. Okay, your first card out. <laughs> Surrender, card 26, which breaks down to an eight. Waning crescent, waning? Yeah, waning crescent three moon. And I'm gonna get the timing on these cards too, so we'll know when, when these things are happening. But 26 breaks down to an eight. So this is about abundance for you. Surrendering, you know? Surrender to the divine, show the world the real you. You're needing to surrender to something here. Full moon. Card number 16 breaks down to a seven. It's all about divine timing, divine intervention, divine guidance. Seven is a divine number. Very, very divine. Full moon is all about power. Show the world the real you. That's where the power comes from, standing in your true authentic self. And now you have wisdom, card 22. This is an ascended master's number, 22. I don't break those down, okay? Waning gibbous six. This is all about wisdom. You have ooh, ascended masters coming in to help you gain that wisdom and clarity. Nice. Then you have focus, card 14, which breaks down to a five. This is all about change, change that's coming in. Waxing gibbous five. So it's a waxing gibbous five. It is a five card, that's 55. You have some big, big changes coming up here. So I'm gonna give you the timing. I'm gonna put these in order according to their timing now for you. Okay. So I'm just going to move these out of the way for now. Okay, so timing-wise, the very first card you're going to have is the power card. Because obviously it's the full moon, and the full moon is the 23rd or the 24th of July, okay? This is when you're likely going to start taking your power back. And then your second card in order here is going to be Wisdom because this is the waning gibbous six, and the waning gibbous six is July 30th. And that's wisdom, that's clarity, that's enlightenment coming in for you, right? Then surrender, and that's, that's next in line because that's a waning crescent three, and that's August 3rd. So it almost feels to me like you're being guided through maybe a dark night of the soul period here where you start to take back your own power, you stand tall and true, and then you are enlightened with something. And it, it takes you to that place where you are willing to surrender to the divine, which is what this full moon is all about. And then your focus card is your last card in place here because that's August 20th. This is going to take you to a place of pure focus and drive is what I'm hearing. Look at the light, <laughs> the clarity, the enlightenment, the knowledge, spiritual knowledge that's coming to you is massive, absolutely massive. Okay, so now we're going to get Gaia Oracle cards. And hopefully this will give us a little bit more information about just exactly what it is that Divine is steering you through, to, and from. Okay, 
yin yang card 40 which breaks down to a four this is all about your foundation your base strengthening your and and stabilizing your foundation for you it's creating harmony through balance it's funny because i just did aquarius's reading for the full moon and they it was big for them too balance and harmony so now this sits on top of the power card and the wisdom card so that's what this is all about for you the power and the uh, wisdom this is all going to happen for you right around uh, the end of july it's going to be right around the full moon to the 30th of july you're going to be gaining a little bit more balance in your world here wobbling i'm hearing the word wobbling so it feels like some of you maybe need this because you're wobbling a little bit in your world and this is going to settle that down and bring in the balance that you're looking for then on top of wisdom and surrender we have <laughs> the dream and it's card number four again balance and stability now you've got 44. something is revealed yes insight breakthrough wisdom and surrender yes something is revealed absolutely clarity knowledge wisdom that's what's coming in for you but i feel like it hasn't been able to come through because of the wobble whatever that wobble is it's going to be different for all of you but whatever that is okay so on top of the surrender card and the focus card you've got hidden path it's a 34 breaks down to a seven which is a very divine number like i've already said divine intervention guidance timing the marriage of spirit and matter yeah you are becoming a lot more connected remember what i talked about with this card look at her you are becoming a lot more connected to your inner guidance system your intuition spirit god whatever you call it and it's going to allow you to really fine-tune your focus and direction wow this is big this feels huge leo huge this is the accumulation of all that brutal work that you've done up to this point this is where it's taking you amazing okay now we're going to get heal yourself cards card 13 rejection 13 is a twin flame number and what my guides made me aware of is that what it represents is your twin flame misses you now this is on top of the yin yang or the balance card and the dream the breakthrough something is revealed maybe you've had a, a breakup maybe you were not in union with your eternal soulmate and this is what comes to light for you the dream is not over that rejection is is not what you think it is and they're missing you wow that is a cool message temptation card 19 it breaks down by the way again this breaks down to a four so now you've got four 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 this is all about stability for you and balance temptation card 19 it breaks down to a 10 which is endings but it also is about beginnings because it then breaks down to a one now this is on top of the dream and the hidden path I want to point out that she's not alone here but look who's with her that's likely her soulmate they're with you even though they're not with you in the 3d in the physical sense 
They are with you spiritually. They're always with you. And they are trying to move towards you in the 3D sense, the physical sense. And I think that's what spirit is trying to do here. Move you forward into this, this um, union. This is like the devil card, temptation, right? This is all about the marriage of spirit and matter. So the devil is all about the ego. This is you letting go of the ego. And I don't mean that, you know, damn, I'm fine, that kind of ego. The ego is the 3D way of living. It's conforming. It's being human. It's living the way everybody else lives, the way everybody else thinks we should live. 5D or not the ego, is spiritual. And that's what's happening to you here. You're, you're balancing out your ability to live in the 3D by way of 5D. So live as a human, but move intuitively, if that makes any sense. And I just looked at the clock and it was 13. The time is 13 minutes. Interesting enough. Okay. So now we're going to get an Island Time Wellness card for you. Not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, or person, boundaries, still angry. So this would be, in my mind, about a breakup or someone that you are needing to come together with. Maybe you've never been together with them in a relationship, but you've been hurt by them and you're angry or vice versa, okay? This could be their... This could be their energy. Someone is avoiding a conversation and is still angry. That is going to be let go of. Part of what's going to be let go of. Okay, now we're going to get a Synchronicity Oracle card. roller coaster it could be that this relationship or this non relationship it has been a roller coaster those of you that have been in a relationship with this person with your eternal soulmate it was a roller coaster it was up and down it was good it was bad and it feels to me like one of those things that was when it was good, it was really good. But when it was bad, it was really bad too. And that's part of what's, what's going on here. And it's right underneath rejection. So I can't help but come back to this likely was a breakup for a lot of you. Or it never came together and because it didn't come together, maybe because of arguments and things where you just didn't agree. But it feels like there wasn't a balance here. And that's, you know, this area over here. And this is in line with that. Okay, now we're going to get a Just Ask Oracle card for you. <laughs> Let it go and surrender all. Let it go. It doesn't mean you're giving up on it. It doesn't mean it's over permanently. It means you're allowing the divine to move things the way they need to be moved and in in divine timing that's what it comes down to you're just letting it go trusting that it's going to move the way spirit wants it to move and in your highest good for your highest good 
Okay, now we're going to get a Whispers of Love card for you. Your reading was so straightforward here. Card six. Sixes are all about love. Be willing to express love. Express love to receive love. If you want more love in your life, you have to be more loving. And that includes to yourself, Leo. Self-love is important. You can't be in an unconditionally loving relationship until you can love yourself unconditionally. But I feel like spirit is, is helping you move into the direction you need to go with all of that um, enlightenment and clarity and spiritual knowledge and taking you to a place where you can bring together your spiritual side and your your egoic side because there has to be a balance there you can't not have an ego I mean you can't get rid of your ego that's that's part of being a human and it's part of what helps keep us safe obviously but majority of us if not all of us learn to work strictly from the ego and now you're being asked to make that shift so I want to ask your guides and spirit what would be the easiest way for you to make that shift? What it is that you can and need to do, be, think, and or feel to make that shift and make this work and come together with your eternal soulmate or come back together with your eternal soulmate, whatever, whatever that is for you. Okay, we're going to do that in the extended. So like I said, click on the title of this video. It'll drop down the description box. The link to the extended is down there, as well as all the list of the decks that I'm using here, okay? Those of you going over, I will see you over there. Those of you that are not, I love you guys, and I will see you next time.